Welcome back, everybody, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ranch channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp. And today, if you can't tell, we are visiting Boyton. And this crew is backing down, getting ready to try and load the boat. And so far, so good. It doesn't appear we should have any issues on this one. And as soon as I said that, I'm wrong. We've got a tire floating. Was, was that a spare tire? Or did that tire come off the trailer? I don't recall seeing a spare tire sitting anywhere on the trailer where it would have come off the float. They somehow have lost a tire on this trailer. I didn't hear anything crack or bang or break or anything. But something definitely happened. I don't know if the trailer was just in that rough a shape and it just came off. Maybe the maybe they were doing some maintenance and didn't tighten the lug nuts. But I can't imagine. I mean, they had to tow this boat down here with the trailer. It has to be something on the ramp. They had to have hit something that was strong enough to knock it off. And our guy notices it and is grabbing it. So this should be a red flag. But I don't see any alarms being sounded. Like, in other words, he's not like, hey, don't load the boat. Something's wrong. Because obviously the first thing I would do if I noticed that I was missing a trailer tire is I wouldn't put anything on the trailer. But these they appear they're going to try and load. He must not think it's his tire. This one's a little mind-boggling. He definitely saw the tire and grabbed it. And, I mean, it was a double axle trailer with nothing on it. He could probably take this trailer and get it fixed and just have to figure out something to do with the boat for the day. It had to go to a marina or something like that. But, no, they're going to load. The only thing I can possibly think of right now is these guys do not know that tire fell off. But how do you not know? I really am confused on this one. So if you're ever at the boat ramp, guys, and you're you're going to load your boat and something looks a little off, you find a tire floating near your trailer or any kind of part that appears to be a trailer part or something of importance, stop, take the few seconds to take the look before you try and load or do anything, and make sure it's not you. I know you may think when you see this, like, no way, I take care of my stuff, it's not me. But it absolutely could be. Even I've, I've had the issue before as well. I had a bunk come off one time when I was backing my trailer down and almost did the same thing these guys did. When I saw it floating in the water, I was like, oh man, somebody lost a bunk from their trailer. Fortunately, I pulled the trailer out and realized it was my bunk, which gave me the opportunity to at least rectify the issue. I can't imagine what would have happened if I'd have just tried loading the trailer, missing a bunk. It would have turned into a disaster at the boat ramp. But fortunately, because I caught it, I was able to go attempt to get it fixed. I left the boat at a marina, pulled the trailer out, went and bought a bunk, recarpeted a new bunk, and installed it, and went and picked the boat up the next morning. These guys are pulling out. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen here. The only thing I can guarantee is these guys that are waiting for this ramp right behind them here are going to keep waiting. Oh, and here we go. They realize something's wrong. guys now realize what the issue is and this sucks with the boat now on the trailer they're going to have a difficult choice because i mean they can either way they're going now they're going to be causing damage to the trailer when they move so they can try and pull this thing out slowly hope that the trailer will ride on the three tires it's got
Or they can redrop this boat and get it off. If it was me, I'd probably gonna be going for that route. I'd probably be trying to get this boat off the trailer. And they're gonna go the opposite. They're gonna try and pull out. Oh man, you can see you can see the smoke coming up, and that's from the axle hitting the stone on the ramp. And that's probably why I would have pulled the boat off. Because you're going to have a long tow anywhere to try and get this thing fixed now. Man, this just sucks, I mean. I'll never, I still, as I'm, my story that I was going from earlier, I'll still never forget that day. I mean, you're out on the boat all day. It's a long day. You get back in. Everybody's kind of ready to get back in. And all of a sudden, something like this happens. And it's going to add hours to your day. And headache and frustration. And when we already know... If you've been around this channel long enough, the boat ramp is frustrating already. So when you add more frustration to it, it's, man, it makes a nightmare. I feel bad for these guys. You really got two choices at this point with the boat on here, man. We talked about it kind of, you know, he, he can either keep pulling this thing up. Just try and do it slowly and get it out of here slowly. Or try and back it down. But I definitely still believe that the back down is the right one. These guys have decided to go forward, and they've committed. And with every pull forward, that axle hits the rock. Oh, man. And they're going to get it up and over, but the, the tough part, you still got a long way to go now with a boat on this trailer. That's why I definitely would have went the other way, if possible. I would have tried backing this thing down leaving the boat in the water, and then taking the trailer for a repair somewhere. And here we go. We got somebody else trying to pull out, and these guys are struggling. One of the big problems here is how much weight he's got at the back of the boat. Everybody's kind of sitting on the rear of the boat, which is going to add weight to the rear and pull up weight on the tongue, causing him to spin like this. They need to move everybody to the bow of the boat, to try and get weight on the tongue or get everybody off the boat. My man's giving her hell. I'm assuming this truck, I mean, it's jacked up. You would figure he would have four-wheel drive. And light bulb, here we go. We're moving everybody forward to get that weight forward. And that will probably make a significant difference in this. And he's still sliding, though. It looks like we're going to back down, try and get a running start to see if we can get this thing out of here. He's got plenty of friends here. If we moved everybody from the boat to the bumper of the bed of the truck, we probably definitely could get this out. He's going to try the give her hell method. And that's not going to do anything but burn tires. So we're going to back down the ramp, and it looks like go for another running start one more time. The running start's not typically the best method on this, though, anyway. I mean, a running start, yes, but you just want a slow running start. You don't want the tires to break free. And when you start giving it a ton of power, that's exactly what happens. The more power you're adding, the more chance you're increasing of those tires letting go. Really, you just want to get moving at a slow pace and keep that slow pace if you can. So here we go. We're going to try it one more time and see what happens. He's going to run it. Giving her hell. And he almost is at the top. Oh, and he's going to get it out. And it looks like this crew is going to be able to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.